Hey, good morning, everyone. Mike from Long Island Shaving. Thank you very much for joining once again. Appreciate you guys being here. I know we're getting a little bit of the uh, advent calendar fatigue, uh, but we are now at the home stretch. We are at day 10, two more days remaining of the uh, advent calendar. Um, kind of excited to get into this shave for one. I got a new razor in the den, a mail call yesterday, so I'll be sharing that in a moment. So really excited to use this new razor for the first time. Heard some good, great things. Um, but for whatever reason, I decided yesterday to, um, and I made it through all nine days perfectly fine, opening it the day of, and for whatever reason, something possessed me to look to see what we're going to be shaving with today in advance. I know, I shouldn't have done it. I should have looked, been surprised like you are as you're watching it. But I took a peek and saw what it was, and uh, we're in for a doozy today. So, uh yeah, so let's get right into it. I didn't smell it, so I'll give you that. So we'll take uh, our first impressions and see what we think. But let's get right into the shave today. So I'm going to open up the door so you guys can see. All right, so uh, let me pull out the soap and splash and we'll get right into this shave. Put those aside. Put the description card aside and then set this aside here. All right, so I'm gonna share this with you guys. We're going to potentially be shaving with Yule Ham. Now, if I were to guess, I hope this is not considered, um, the set notes are based on ham, but if it is, we're gonna be in for uh, an exciting shave here. So let me take, uh, a smell and get my first impressions of Yule Ham. Oh yeah. <laughs> this smells like a baked ham, literally. Oh my God. Not, not very strong, kind of like a slight hint to it. All right, you know what? I'm, not, I'm still not going to read the set notes because obviously we know what it is. I'm going to go right to the splash because I'm going to see if this is something that I could even tolerate at this point. All right, so I'm going to open up the splash here. Take a little bit, which is what I normally do, put it on my hand just to kind of get an idea of the fragrance because the intensity is obviously stronger on the splash. All right, let's let's see. Oh my God. Literally straight up baked ham with pineapple, honey mixed in. Just came out of the oven. It's fully cooked. Oh my, I can't shave with this guys. I'm sorry. I'm, I may have to pull an audible. I know you guys have been wanting me to shave with different things other than the advent calendar. So you know what? I think I may do a, a keep this a PAA shave and I may go with uh keepsake fruitcake, which I received a few days ago. And uh, I think I'm going to skip the ham, baked ham here, and I'm going to go right to dessert. What do you guys say? I think I'm going to do that. All right. Let's see here. Read the uh, description card. Originally released in 2016. So this was actually a set that was released. I would think it's a joke. I mean, really? <laughs> Scent profile, baked holiday Yule ham. Really? That's what it says here, really. Yep, this is another lost classic that many of you shave cadets missed out on originally. Yule ham was only available through our original loyalty program and never before was there a matching aftershave splash. So this is the first time they're going with a splash for this. And believe it or not, we still get loads of requests for this to return. Honestly, this really was meant to be a one-off joke. But, well, apparently some folks really want to smell like a baked ham. I mean, really, who wants to smell, smell like a baked ham? Like it a lot. I cannot claim to understand the allure of this one. But if the people want it, I'm going to deliver. Yule ham, possibly my least kosher released ever. Now you can really ham things up for the holidays. You're welcome, you psycho. <laughs> well said, Mr. Well said, Mr. Douglas. Um, 
Yeah, I can't do it, guys. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to. I know this is, what, five minutes in. I'm still trying to recover from this uh, experience. Um, one thing I will share with you guys is, Douglas, you nailed the uh, baked ham scent. No question. I picked it up immediately. And, uh, yeah, we're in for it. So, anyway, I'm going to whip up a lather with uh, Keepsake Fruitcake. And we're going to do a review of that. And I'm going to come back and read off the set notes of Keepsake Fruitcake. And we're going to go right to dessert, guys. So, I will be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. And we will be shaving with Keepsake Fruitcake. I already have it whipped up beautifully in the uh, Captain's Choice Bowl. Smells absolutely fantastic. It's to, Initially, I would say if you got similar to what Juicy Fruit smells like, but to a very, very higher intensity is my best way to describe what Keepsake Fruitcake smells like. Um, but... I'm really excited to get into today's dessert. I'm kind of full on the ham at this point. So for those of you that have never seen the label for Keepsake Fruitcake, I was uh, fortunate enough to get the holographic label. So uh, really cool um, holiday release from Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. Love the label. And if you guys have never seen the pour, that's what the pour looks like. Looks like kind of, you know, some fruits uh, loaded within the soap itself. So uh, really cool and smells absolutely amazing. So very well done, uh, Doug and Fran, on this one for sure. All right, so before I shave, I want to get into the razor real quick. This is a new razor that arrived in the den. It's the uh, Goodfellas Smile Synthesi. Um, it's a three-piece razor, all stainless steel. Uh, the handle length is 80 millimeters, so a little bit shorter than, you know, less than average handle. Uh, the weight, um, good weight to it, you know, really good weight. It feels substantial. They also make this in aluminum as well, uh, but I picked up the um, stainless steel version of the razor. As you guys can see, very low profile uh, head there. Uh, if you guys have, which I do have, the uh, Goodfellow Stiletto aluminum, I have this razor here. Very efficient, nice blade feel, shaves really well. I was very pleased with this razor. The um, synthesis is supposed to be even more efficient, a little bit more aggressive, which I don't mind. Um, and to have it all stainless steel, uh, when I saw this was available, I jumped on it and I picked it up from uh, the Razor Company. So uh, blade gap, just to read off, because I wrote it down here. Where did I put it? Um, oh, blade gap. There it is. Uh, 0.62 millimeter blade gap. Exposure is 0 0.02 millimeters on the exposure. Uh, so those are the specs on the synthesis. So that's the razor of choice. And I'm going to be going with a Persona Blue Lab Blade for this razor. That's the blade of choice I usually go with for new razors to get a feel uh, of the razor. So that's a default blade that I uh, seem to tend to lean towards um, to get, you know, my first experience with a new razor. So I'll be using that. And I have... Keepsake fruitcake whipped up in the bowl here with the Rocket Shave Brush from PAA. So let's get right into today's shave and let's not waste any more time. Yeah, sorry guys. I can't, um, I can't shave with uh, baked ham today. Just can't do it. Yeah, I wanted to remain committed, but uh, I've been wanting to do a review of this as well. And figured I was going to get to it after the uh, advent calendar. So why not? Let's get into uh, a review of Keepsake Fruitcake. Say that fast three times. So the set notes on Keepsake Fruitcake is uh, candied fruit, rich butter, coconut, maple, syrup, brown sugar, vanilla, cake batter, tobacco absolute, and spiced atomic bay rum. Nice. Um, I don't, I do pick up a slight, I guess it is a slight um, hint of the Atomic Age Bay Rum in the background, but it's a very sweet, fruity scent. And having obviously the cake batter and brown sugar and syrup and maple, it's a very, very sweet scent for sure. Nice. I really like this one. 
and I'm new to this. This is the first year picking this up. I saw it was available last year. I didn't jump on it. So when it was released this year, I uh, I ordered it immediately and uh, I received it a few days ago. All right, I'm actually really excited to get into the shave. I'm, uh, this is my first experience with uh, the Synthesy Stainless Steel from Goodfellow Smile. So let's see how it shaves. It's more aggressive than the stiletto. Uh, I'm all in on this one. Line up the sideburns. Oh, nice. Some nice blade feel. Very efficient. So far. I like it. Yeah, I was very pleased with the stiletto. Um, heard a lot of great reviews on it. And uh, I had picked it up and uh, was very happy with it. So when I saw that uh, Goodfellas uh, released this stainless steel razor, um, I was intrigued by it. I saw it was available on the razor company, so I went ahead and picked it up. And thank you, uh, Jason, if you're watching. I appreciate you getting this out to me uh, early. I know I ordered, I think I ordered this on uh, Monday or Tuesday. And I had asked him uh, if he would be so kind to see if he can get it out before the holiday rush. And uh, he got it out right away to me. It was shipped out the same day. And I received it a few days later. So I uh, actually received it yesterday. So thank you very much for that. Really nice weight to it. Uh, the grip is very good. Um, it's a very heavy, it's a heavy, I don't know the exact weight of this, but it's got some good weight to it and uh, it seems like it's built very solid. I like that it's a low prof profile head, just like the, uh, Stiletto, so getting on the, up underneath the nose is very easy. The Persona Blue blade is performing well. Very smooth, no blade chatter. Very nice. All right, pass one done. Let's go for the second pass. Yeah, pretty uh, pretty funny. Daytay being uh, holiday big ham, Yule ham. For those of you that remain committed to the shave and shaved with it today, I give you guys a lot of credit. I couldn't do it. Sorry to let you guys down, but uh. I'm sure you guys uh, like Keepsake Fruitcake as well. So uh, definitely don't mind shaving with this today. Change it up a little bit. Really great lather, as always, from the CK6 base. Yeah, I really like the scent. Very sweet. That's what you get with this, guys. It's, you know, candied fruit, you know. I get the uh, maple syrup. I get the maple, the brown sugar, vanilla, cake batter. Um, not sure what to make of that. I'm not. Sh I kind of. I'm sort of familiar with cake batter, but uh, I guess you could say yeah. With all the sweetness, it def definitely all goes together. And now that I'm smelling more, you definitely get the Atomic Bay rum uh, rounding it out in the background. So that's very nice. All right, pass two against the grain. So far, very pleased with this razor. It rinses well. You know, the bottom has you know, some really nice sized lather channels at the bottom here. I like that the handle is a little bit smaller 
you know, fits in the hand really well. It's comfortable. Yeah, so day 10, we got two more days left. I'm not gonna peek tomorrow. I'm gonna open up the door tomorrow morning with you guys and uh, kind of nervous to see what we have in store for us today and wondering what the next two days are gonna bring. But uh, no question, this is gonna be talked about in the community and I'll make sure to choose a nice thumbnail for it as well. Gonna have to combine uh, these two soaps together and uh, make it a nice holiday feast. Nice baked ham with some uh, fruit cake for dessert. I'm sure many of you skipped uh, the meal, went right to dessert before, so you can't blame me for doing that. <laughs> so, first impressions with this uh, razor, I'm very, very pleased. Really uh, offers a really nice, uh, nice shave. As we all know, we can never have enough uh, razors in the in the den, right? There's never enough. Yeah, as soon as the um, the apex is re released, I'm going to also order that as well. I'm waiting for that to come back in stock uh, at the razor company, and I'm going to pick that up. Kind of looking forward to that shave as well. I've been uh, talking to John at Latherhog. He shaved his, uh, he shared his experience with the razor. He's been using it for a little while. He's very pleased with it. You know, so it's getting a lot of good feedback in the community for sure. Well, I love the low profile head on the on this razor. It's really great. Yeah, definitely worth picking this up, guys. If you're looking for another uh, new razor that uh, has a little bit more efficiency and blade feel, uh, and if you like the st um, the stiletto, you're gonna love the synthesy. Um, obviously, the weight of the stainless steel it's substantial. The profile the head of the head is very similar. If I can get this in the right, there we go. You can see here, very similar. Very pleased with it. Yeah, really nice shave. All right, let me just rinse real quick and then uh, we'll get going on the splash here. Hope you guys are doing well. If you don't get a chance to tune in over the next two days, because uh, I plan on doing uh, the next two shaves on the advent calendar, uh, the Christmas Day one, um, for obvious reasons, going to be probably later in the day because I'm spending time early in the morning with the family. Uh, but I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and uh, really happy holidays and uh, really enjoy this time with your family. It's very important. And uh, yeah, it's been a great year. Um, a little, listen, ups and downs. Everyone, Hopefully everyone here has had some... Uh, Good experiences throughout the year. If you haven't, then I'm, I'm sorry, but uh, let's hope that 2024 is a better year for everyone. But if you did have a great year, um, that's awesome to hear. But uh, definitely spend the time with your family. This is important time. And uh, again, I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. If I don't get a chance to uh, talk to some of you. All right, first time using the uh, splash of Keepsake Fruitcake. Kind of looking forward to that. I got to pull off the... Uh, label here the sealer those things really stick sometimes they're hard to get off on the restrictor all right i'll pull the rest of it off i got most of it off so at least i can get it out it's a little bit of the splash there you go Oh, 
Oh, what a wonderful scent. Oh, I really enjoy that. This, you get the sweetness of the uh, of all the elements I had mentioned with the maple and brown sugar and vanilla and cake batter all coming together and then at the end you get the uh you get the the uh, bay rum the famous bay rum that we all love and appreciate so if you have like space nog and some of those that you know really really are balanced really well with the bay rum in the end this smells absolutely phenomenal love it all right so today we shaved with uh keepsake fruitcake hopefully you guys enjoyed Really fantastic scent. Um, I had picked this up. Uh, really happy I did. It's a great holiday scent and one that you can use all year round. And just as a final feature of what could have been today's shave is uh, Yule Ham, which I know many brave cadets had shaved with today. So uh, I give you guys a lot of credit for doing it for those of you that made it through that shave. But with that... Thank you very much for joining, as always, guys. I really do appreciate you guys coming in each and every day. And uh, please comment uh, down below if you guys have any questions or you want to chat about anything. I really do appreciate that. And uh, you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for day 11. We're almost done. Take care now. Bye-bye.